Hey YouTubers, welcome back. So thanks for tuning in for my first back to school video. And this is gonna be back to school, what's in my makeup bag. Okay, a little disclaimer before I get into the contents of the bag is that from day to day, the items might change in here. It's not always gonna have the same stuff that I'm showing you guys right now, but I just wanted to show you guys what I carry in my makeup bag so that you can get a couple of ideas of what to carry in your makeup bag. Okay, and I'm also gonna be showing other alternatives, like, you know, if you guys don't like foundation, you can put in something else. Okay, so let's just get started before this turns into a long intro. Okay, the first item I have is the Palladio rice paper. And these are just blotting powders. And I've mentioned it quite a lot of times. I get really oily, like I have really oily skin, especially like in my T-zone. So, you know, like blotting papers are really good for touching up throughout the day just to get rid of that excess oiliness. And also, you know, if you guys don't want to take like any blotting papers or rice powder with you, also translucent powders are a good idea too. Another example of what you can put in your bag is just the NYC, and this is the Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder in Translucent. Okay, this is just a really translucent powder, and what's really good about it is that even though you're going to put this on your skin to get rid of that excess oiliness, you're not adding on any extra makeup so that your face doesn't feel too cakey throughout the day. Okay, and the next item I have is makeup wipes and this is this just <laughs> and this is just the little travel size that I got from Forever 21 it was only a dollar eighty I think these are super convenient to have in your makeup bag to have in your backpack to have with you anywhere that you go because you know eventually you're gonna have a little bit of smudging here and there and you know you might want to fix something that you messed up maybe this morning you didn't have time to fix it you can go to school when you have time you can fix whatever you need to fix even though that might not be the case but you know you never know what can happen i think these are just super convenient to have in your bag okay and the next item i have is this little pop-up brush and my hair is crazy as you guys can tell right now it's crazy so I need to have a brush with me wherever I go. This is just really convenient because it's so small, it can fit into any bag that you carry with It's a small you. little comb that you can take with you whenever you need to like brush your hair, maybe something went wrong this morning that you need to fix. And then I really like it because on the other side there's a little mirror right there. You know, whenever you need to like touch up your makeup, you know, fix anything that you need to fix, this is really good. Another alternative is just a little compact mirror. You know, it's another alternative if you want, but I think this one is a really good idea because it has a little brush attached to it. I believe you can get these for a dollar at Ulta, and they have like a little bunch of these at CVS too. Okay, and the next item I have is mascara, and this is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I really like this mascara a lot because it doesn't smudge on me at all. And if I need to retouch up with it, it, you know, I can because it's a nice black color and I really like the shape of it. And for some reason, whenever I use this mascara, I feel like I don't really need to curl my lashes. You know, I feel like it kind of does the little bit of curling for them. But if you want, you can put an eyelash curler in your makeup bag too. Okay, and the next item I have is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer. I really like this concealer a lot. I think this is so convenient to have in your makeup bag because if you have any bit of like, if your, you know, if your foundation moves around a little bit and you want to touch up any blemish that's peeking through, I think this is a really good idea. Another like concealer slash item that I have in here is some kind of gorgeous by Benefit. And basically what this is, is just the foundation faker. So if you don't want to carry like big foundations in here, if you don't want to put a foundation in your bag, if you feel like that would take up too much space, I think something like this is really convenient to have. Just in case you need to touch up or anything like that. Okay, and the next item I have is the Revlon Lip Butter, and this one is in Candy Apple. Now the colors that I put in my makeup bag can change from day to day depending on what I wear that morning when I do my makeup. But I just like to have an extra lipstick in here just in case I need to touch up. 
Because there are some days when I'm going to be in school. Oh, I'm going to college, by the way, in case you guys wanted to know. But there are going to be some days when I'll have, like, when I'll be at school for about eight hours. So I know I'm going to need to touch up because I'm going to be probably eating. I'm going to be drinking water, you know, not drinking anything else. But <laughs> okay. And uh, or another alternative that I have is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. Something like the soft matte lip cream or even a lip stain is a good alternative to have because this one I feel like you don't really need to touch up with. I think this one is a really good idea because I feel like this is more like a stain. It doesn't really come off as quickly as like the Revlon lip butter does because that one has a little bit of a glossy texture so it might come off a little bit easier. But if you want something like this, this is, you know, you could put it in your bag too. Or another alternative that I have are the Maybelline Baby Lips. And the one I have is in Quenched, and then I have, which one is this one? Grapevine. I put Quenched in here in case, you know, you don't want to wear any lipstick that day. You just want your lips to be really moisturized. I think this is really convenient to have. Or if you want a little bit of color, but you don't want something like the, the matte or the Revlon Lip Butter, which does have quite a bit of color, you can use this. And this one just gives you like a really nice tint. I could show you. Like it just gives you like a really nice tint. If you don't want to do something really crazy with your lips, I think this is really convenient to have. Okay, and the next item I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. I absolutely love these blushes because not only do I really like the color selections that they have, but also, becomes, also because it comes with a brush. I can't talk for you guys today. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay, the reason why I like this is because the color selection is amazing and because it comes with a brush. The one thing I really don't like to do is put brushes in my makeup bag. I like to just do my makeup and then get out of the house and not have to worry about brushes or anything like that. I mean, if you want to carry brushes, that's okay. Like the retractable kabuki brushes are amazing. The retractable face powder brushes are amazing. You could put those in here without having to worry about them getting dirty or anything like that. But I love these blushes, you know, they come with the brush and usually I'll throw them away. But for something like a makeup bag, I think this is really convenient. Okay, or if you don't want that one, also another really good one is the Physician's Formula Mood Boosting Blush. This one also comes with the little brush. Okay, and I really like the colors of this, like they're really nice and they're very opaque. They have a little bit of shimmer and highlight to them, which... Is good, you know, if you're going to... Okay, oh, and uh, another thing I forgot to mention, which I think is the most important in a makeup bag, are bobby pins and hair ties. Okay, even though I don't have long hair myself, you know, your classmates or anybody else will always be asking you for hair ties. I, I remember when I was at school last semester, people were always asking me for hair ties. Do you have an extra hair tie? Do you have an extra hair tie? Why, yes, you can say, I do have an extra hair tie. So you can put that in here just in case somebody wants to borrow it. Just don't expect to get it back. You know, it's gone. <laughs> okay, and bobby pins, I think, are really important because for some reason, I always lose bobby pins. Even when they're in my hair, I'll lose them. I don't know what happens. They just fall out. And especially because I don't have gym this semester, but I know a lot of high schoolers have gym classes. I think these are really convenient to have because... You know, I think they're just really convenient to have. Okay, that's it, you guys. That's all that's in my makeup bag. I'm gonna. Be okay, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my other back to school videos. Bye.